we're doing an elemental raft build challenge. It's gonna be me and Ruby versus Speaker Man and Speaker Baby. Ooh, we're definitely gonna build a better raft. Oh, follow me, Speaker Baby. Nah, Dash, our raft is gonna be way better. And I know, right? And hold up, I got the fire element. Wait, what did you get? Ooh, I got the ice element. Check this out. And whoa, that is awesome. Okay, well, we gotta build the most epic fire and ice themed raft ever. So here, I guess I'll grab some of these magma blocks and uh, here, let's just start building our raft all the way over this way. Yeah, we can just like build it off over here in the distance. This should look pretty sick. Okay, if you're gonna use magma, then I'm gonna use ice blocks. And all right, sounds good. Yeah, we can build like half of the raft out of magma blocks and then the other half out of ice is gonna look sick. And wait, what are we doing building this by hand? Let me grab a wand really quick with slash slash wand and let me just select this position all the way over here and we can also select another position over here and run the command slash slash set magma. Boom, there we go. The first part of the raft is complete. Oh, that's so good. Oh, I'll add the ice on the back. All right, sounds good. And whoa, wait, okay, speaker man and speaker baby are adding like pillars and stuff to their raft. Okay, hold on. We might have to do the same. And wait a minute. Why don't we make our raft like an entire ship? So here, what we can start doing is uh, let's start like rounding off the front of it a little bit so that it looks like an actual ship. And we can round it off a little bit more just like this. And here, I'm just gonna make this ship a little bit pointier. And there we go. Okay, I think that should be pointy enough. And all right, this is looking sick. And now what we have to do is just like expand the walls a little bit to make it go up. Um, how big does this have to be? Hmm, good question. Question. I think we can make it a little bit bigger than this. In fact, what we could do is let's just select all of this over here with our wand. And let's just fill all of this in with some packed ice. And here, what we can do is just run the command slash slash stack 40. Oh, okay, hold on. I think I did the wrong command. Let me undo that. Let's just select only the ice over here and let's run the command again, except let's do like slash slash stack 20. I think that'll be a bit better. And okay, this should be good enough. I'll replace this area over here with some magma so that it looks even. I really like this. Yep, this is looking sick so far. So now what we have to do is add like a little, I don't know, pilot area in the front. Wait, what do you call a person who drives a boat? Is it a pilot or a... Oh, it's a captain, right? Yeah, it's a captain. Okay, so here, what we need to do is add the captain's area right over here in the front. So let me grab a little bit of glass so that, you know, they can like see what they're doing. And this area right here is gonna be the captain's area. They're gonna have like a whole little room up here. Okay, I finished the back, but wait, shouldn't this be a little bit higher so the captain can see over the side of the ship? And oh, oh, wait, actually, that is a pretty good idea because uh, they need to have like a good view of the ocean and everything. Okay, what we could do is just select all of this and then look up and run the command slash slash move three. I think that should be high enough. And yeah, okay, why don't we build it up here? Is this good? I think this looks perfect. Let's go. All right, well, here, let's just continue building all of this out of some of these magma blocks. Wait, I just realized if we build everything out of magma blocks, then people are gonna be uh, taking damage because, you know, it's like super hot. And wait, if we build it back out of ice, then people are gonna be like slipping and uh, they're gonna fall. And wait, what do we do about this? Oh, maybe we should make the floor out of something else. And yeah, actually, that may be a good idea. Okay, well, what's the closest thing to magma and ice? We gotta find something that looks similar, but doesn't actually, like, do damage and make you slide. Oh, I can use blue stained glass back here. And oh yeah, yeah, blue stained glass would be really good for there. And I guess I can just use some orange wool. That should look pretty good in here. I guess I'm just gonna replace all of the floor over here with some orange wool. So here, let me just fill all of this with some orange wool. And here, let me select all of this now, and let me just run the command slash slash stack. Boom, there we go. And here, let me do it just a little bit more and a little bit more. And there we go. And whoa, this is looking sick. You can see the ocean under our ship. And whoa, yeah, I didn't even think about that. That actually looks so cool. You can see like all the fishies and stuff that are gonna be below here once we're actually sailing. But anyways, now we gotta actually finish up this like captain's area. So let's just replace all of the floor with some of this orange wool. And then, oh wait, we also have to build like a little staircase to actually get up to it. So I guess we can just have that over here like this. Oh, and we also need a door too. And yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. We need a door. So let's grab that and just put that in right over here here looking nice and oh wait let's also add some fences to the side so that whoever tries to get up here doesn't like fall off by accident oh yeah this is a good idea well wait i'll do this on the other side and yeah yeah sounds good that way everything can look nice and even and here let's just put all these fences over here i'm gonna put like extra fences so that it just looks nice so let's just put all of these fences down over here like this boom that's looking pretty nice let's also put some over here on this side just to make it look even and boom there we go this area is looking pretty nice up here let's see what the actual captain's area looks like from the inside now and oh wait hold on we we need to make sure to replace this floor over here with some orange wool as well. There we go. And boom, this area is looking sick. Look, the captain can get like a whole view of like what the ocean looks like and where the ship is going. But anyways, the captain has a pretty good view of the ocean now, but uh, how are they going to control the ship? We need some sort of steering wheel. So let's see, can we have a steering wheel? Oh, well, there's normal wheels over here. Well, I guess that's the closest thing. So let's just put that down. And oh, okay. I guess we can put that down. Let's grab an item frame and uh, we can just put the wheel over there. And 
Oh, yeah, we got a steering wheel. Look, you can, like, uh, spin it around and stuff. Yeah, this should work. Um, yeah, this is a really unique steering wheel, but wait, we should finish this room up first. And, yeah, you're right here. Let's just finish up this room really quick. We kind of have the back area unfinished, so what we can do is just make it go out like this. Yeah, I think this should be far enough, and now let's just add in all of the walls. Oh, wait, I'll add the windows on the side. And, all right, sounds good. This should look pretty sick here. Let's just finish up with this roof, and nice. Let's also add some fences over here to make it look, like, more realistic so that it's actually, like, being held up. And nice. Look at that. Our captain's area is complete. This is looking sick. And whoa, wait. Speaker man and speaker baby. What the? What are you guys building on your raft? We're building our elemental business suite, of course. What the? Elemental business suite? Wait, you have like a whole tower here? And wait, what in the world is this in the back? Why is this area made out of grass? Oh, well, back here is the sunbathing area. But why is this all made out of grass? This is kind of a weird block for a raft. Because I'm the earth elemental, duh. And oh, you're the earth elemental. That makes sense. Wait, speaker man, what elemental are you? Oh, I'm the water elemental. I'm going to sail the seas and create my empire. All right. Well, uh, you guys have fun with your ship. It looks uh, pretty interesting, but uh, we're going to get back to ours. And well, okay, wait, Ruby, yours is a lot bigger than ours so far, but it's fine. We can just make ours a lot better. Yeah. So here, what do we need to build next after the captain's area? Well, uh, we're going to need some place for the passengers to eat, right? Oh yeah, you're right. We're going to need like a food area. So wait, why don't we have a whole restaurant on our ship? That could be pretty cool. So uh, here, do you want to build it in the back? This could be pretty cool. We could have like the floor of the restaurant be all made out of this blue stained glass. That could look sick. Yeah, I think seeing the ocean underneath your feet will make the restaurant really fancy. And yeah, yeah, yeah. This is gonna be one of those super fancy five-star restaurants. People are gonna wanna come onto our ship just for the dining experience. It's gonna be so sick. So here, I guess let's just uh, build up the walls for now. And what we could do is just go in each corner and just select this position. And let's go in this corner and select this one. And then we can just look up and slash slash stack uh, four. Yeah, there we go. That should be tall enough. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start placing down the tables and chairs. And all right, all right, sounds good here. I'm gonna continue just building up this wall really quick. We're gonna have one of those fancy glass walls that all the fancy restaurants have. This is gonna be awesome. And here, let me also grab a door and, ooh, yeah, we're definitely gonna go with the fanciest of all doors, which is the spruce door, of course. So we're just gonna put that over here in the middle like that. And wait, wait, you can't put doors on. Okay, you can't not put doors on glass. Okay, I guess what we could do is just grab a little bit of concrete and just put that over there. And then we can put the door on top of that looking good. And here, let's also add in a roof, of course. Oh, and look at these chairs I chose. Aren't they fancy? And whoa, those chairs look awesome. Okay, these perfectly with like the theme of the restaurant. Yeah, okay, we can just use a bunch of those. And here, let me just set all of this roof into some packed ice slash slash set packed ice. And wait, hold on. We're building like half of the ship out of ice. Hopefully it doesn't melt. Oh, don't worry. It's packed ice, so packed ice doesn't melt. And oh, all right. Well, hopefully not. But anyways, this area is looking sick. Oh, wait, the next thing we should add are some windows as well, because otherwise this area would be kind of boring. So what we can do is just have our windows out over here on the side looking sick. Let's do that for like every seat so we can have some over here as well. Okay, I can do the other side. And all right, all right, sounds good. And wait, while you're setting up the dining tables, I'll set up the kitchen in the back because uh, we're gonna need a kitchen as well. I guess we can just block off this area and this area over here in the back could be the kitchen. Ooh, okay, but what kind of food are we gonna serve here? And hmm, that's a good question. I haven't really checked. Well, here, let me just finish up this wall really quick and we can just have like the door for the kitchen be right over here. And let's see, let's see. What type of elemental ice and fire stuff can we serve on this restaurant. Let me just search food and let's see. What are we working with here? And wait, hold on. That's not much food. Let's see. What if I just search on meat and whoa, now we're talking. Whoa, what the? There's cosmic meatballs. These look kind of like ice. Wait, that sounds really fancy. How much can we charge people to buy those for? And ooh, ooh yeah, you're right. You're right. We got to set up our pricing. I guess we can sell the cosmic meatballs for uh, one diamond each because just take a look at these things. These things look so fancy. They're literally like probably from space. That sounds like a fair price to me. And yeah, yeah, here, what we could do is have like a little area over here where people can get their food from. So let me grab some slabs and this could be like the uh, food uh, the serving area where waiters can like go up here, get food from the chefs and then go serve it off to the people. So uh, I guess let's put down some plates over here just like that. And inside we can just have like all of our food so we can have the cosmic meatballs in there. And ooh, now we got to find something that's like fire themed. And, and let's see, let's see, what are we working here? There doesn't seem to be much fire themed stuff. Let's look around and wait for the fire food. Why don't we grab one of these lava cakes? These are like the ultimate fire food. Check it out. It's literally like a lava cake. There's lava inside of it. That's pretty crazy. Wait, that's gonna be perfect for you since you're the fire elemental. Exactly! And now we need to find two other foods. And ooh, wait, we should get a food for Speaker Man and Speaker Baby since, you know, we need something for
going for their elementals as well. So speaker baby was the earth elemental. So let's see what would an earth elemental like to eat. And wait a minute. What about a moss pie? Because, you know, moss, uh, that's like earth. So, you know. Oh, wait, that works. It, uh, it looks gross to me, though. Yeah, speaker baby should like it, though. And wait, what was speaker man's elemental again? I think he was the water element. And oh, oh, yeah, yeah, right. He was the water element. So uh, let's see. What can we feed the water elements? And oh, wait, uh, the water elements like fish, right? So what about we give them some of this cooked fish? I don't even know what fish that is, but that looks pretty wild. So uh, we're going to put that there. It also looks pretty fancy. So that fits the theme of the restaurant. Yeah, the more colorful, the better. Exactly. But now we got to add the actual like kitchen equipment back here so that people can actually make the food. So here, the first thing we're going to need are some furnaces. So let's just grab some furnaces like that. And ooh, we should also grab some smokers as well for like cooking cakes and all that. And uh, what else? What else? I think they need some kitchen counters so that they can chop things up. And ooh, yeah, yeah exactly. We need some countertops as well. And ooh, a sink as well. We cannot forget that. Washing hands is going to be very important. So I guess we can just have a sink over there and a countertop there like that. And uh, what else? Ooh, wait, we're probably going to need an oven. Oh, that's a good one. They can make cakes with that. Exactly. Let's put down the oven right over here like that. That looks pretty nice. And oh, wait, we're probably also going to need a fridge to like store some of the food materials. And uh, let's just make this entire wall back here out of glass. This could look pretty cool, I think. And oh, wait, we have to remove that. And yeah, this is looking pretty sick. Um, I see. What about food that doesn't go into the fridge? And oh, yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. We're also going to need some storage for like a dry food that doesn't go in the fridge. So I guess for that, we can just use some uh, barrels. Yeah, these could work. We can just have those right uh, over here. Yeah, we can have them over here. And now we just got to put all the like cooking materials inside. So hmm, what cooking materials do we need for these things? I don't even know what we need for the cosmic meatball. So I guess I can just grab some of those and just like shove them inside of one of these barrels here. Yeah, we can just fill this one up with cosmic meatballs. There's a lot of room, so we can just put in a little bit of everything, honestly. And yeah, you're right. Well, I guess the most common cooking materials are going to be stuff like like, uh, I don't know, milk. Oh, we're gonna need eggs, definitely. That's gonna be very important. And, oh, sugar, that's probably gonna be kind of important. Eggs! Uh, wait, Ruby, I already said eggs. Oh, well, I might have forgotten. Sorry. Oh, all right. Well, the eggs are definitely gonna have to go inside of the fridge, and, you know, I'm pretty sure eggs are gonna be, like, a very important thing, so we can just fill up, like, oh, wait, we can't put the eggs in the fridge. What? I don't think our fridge is compatible with eggs. Oh, well, that's all right. What we could do is just put the eggs in this barrel over here, and since everything in this room is made out of ice, it should keep it cold enough to hopefully Fully. Oh, yeah, that should work. And all right, I guess in this last one over here, we can just like put some sugar and milk. Uh, these could be like all of the cake materials. And what else do we need? Oh, we need something to like make the moss pies. And let's see, what do we need for moss pies? Oh, we're going to need to get some vines probably. That's going to be a very important uh, ingredient in making those. So uh, where should we put those? I guess we can like make some room inside of this barrel for it. Oh, vines. <laughs> That's going to be gross. And yeah, I don't know what these earth elementals be eating. But yeah, we can put that there. And oh, we also got to make sure to uh, fill up all of the furnaces with some coal so let's just grab some blocks of coal so that they last super long and just fill up all of the furnaces with this coal this is gonna be sick well this all looks awesome i think it's all done right what's next and yeah i think the kitchen area should be complete we've got all of the tables over here at oh wait i'm guessing this is the vip table yes this is the vip table isn't it awesome it's in the center for everybody to see it looks sick but anyways yeah you're right what do we need to build next let's see and oh wait i guess if people are gonna be coming on our ship for like a long time they're gonna need somewhere to like stay and sleep so we should build the living quarters next but uh hmm, we don't really have much room where do we build it i guess we could either go up or down oh yeah right we can go down i completely forgot about that well i think we should probably build it up though that way people can get a better view of like uh, the ocean and stuff oh that's right people will want to see the sunrise and yeah yeah yeah, exactly like when they wake up and stuff so here i guess we can just build that on top over here and uh ooh, wait okay since we have the entire kitchen made out of ice stuff why don't we build the bedrooms out of fire stuff that could be sick so here let's just build the walls out of some magma blocks going around like this. Oh, and don't forget, we gotta make the floor out of wool still. And yeah, 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 exactly, because we do not want people to burn. So here, let's just put all of this wool over here like this, and then let me grab another wand. And here, let's slash slash stack it. Boom, and oh, uh, okay, yeah, hold on. I think that was a little bit too much. Let me slash slash undo that and slash slash stack it again. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Just right. I'm just gonna fill this in right here. And boom, that is looking sick. But wait, hold on. We need a way to actually get up here. So uh, hmm, I guess we can just have a ladder. Let me grab grab one of those and i guess we can just have a ladder going up this way hold on we can't put ladders on the glass okay what we can do is just replace some of this glass on the side with some concrete and then we can put the ladders on the concrete that's a good idea should i add some fences on the side so people don't fall off the boat and oh yeah yeah definitely do that we do not want people falling overboard that would be very bad but yeah this could be like the main living quarters area so let's just uh, ex 
expand this area a little bit like this. We can just like have this be the main entrance. And here we can have a hallway with all of the bedrooms on the ship. Ooh, I wonder how many bedrooms that we can fit in here. And yeah, that actually is a good question. We don't really have that much room to work with, but we should be able to fit enough. This is gonna be like a super exclusive VIP yacht cruise ship thingy. So there's not gonna be that many people on at all times. So we should have enough. Oh, I see. You're right. If it's VIP, we can charge people more. Exactly. So here, I was thinking we can just have um like a hallway over here like this. This could be like the main hallway that like people walk down. So like they're just like walking through like this. And then there could be doors for each room over here. So like every few blocks, we can just have a door for a room. And I think we should be able to fit like four rooms with this. Yeah. Yes. And they're gonna have the greatest view of the ocean. Exactly. So here, let's grab some doors and we can just put those over here. And here, we gotta make sure to space all the houses out properly. So I guess each house is gonna have one, two, three, four blocks. So one, two, three, four. That looks good. We're gonna put a door over here like that. And then this house also needs to have one, two, three, four. There we go. Oh, wait. Okay. I think we're only going to be able to fit like three and a half rooms. I guess we can just make this last room over here like bigger. It'll be like that extra ultimate supreme VIP room. It'll be the presidential suite. Exactly. And since this is going to be the fancy room, we can give it two doors. It's going to be pretty crazy. While you work on this, I'm going to put down the windows. All right. Sounds good. This is going to look awesome here. I'll put down all of the walls for separating the rooms. Oh, good idea. So all of our passengers can have privacy. Exactly. So here, let's just put down all of of these walls and then we gotta make sure to put down beds and everything inside of the rooms and ooh, we should also put one of those mini fridges inside of the room where they have to pay to get like extra snacks mini fridges that's such a good idea yeah we're gonna make so much money off of those mini fridges so here let's grab a mini fridge and okay we might have to just give them like a full fridge yeah ooh, even better and check out this bed and ooh, that bed looks pretty nice but here i guess we can put the mini fridge over here and let's also grab a sign and on the sign we can put uh one diamond per snack yeah, there we go. We're gonna make so many diamonds off of this. But wait, what type of snacks should we even put inside of this? What type of snacks do people usually have on these like fridges inside of hotel rooms? I think they have chips and soda and waters. And oh, oh yeah, 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 you're right. That's like the typical stuff. So I guess that first we can grab a water bottle and just put down some water in like that. And what? No, you can't put the water in the fridge. Okay, I guess the fridges just don't like water. Maybe the fridges are broken. And yeah, I think you're right. But let's see, what type of drinks can we do? And ooh, wait, we can put Mountain Dew in there. Let's just put every single type of Mountain Dew. There's an orange Mountain Dew, what? There's an orange one? I had no idea these drinks existed, but here, let's just put a bunch of these inside of the mini fridge. Boom! And okay, we also have to give them some healthy stuff as well. So what about some apples? We can just grab those and chuck those inside of the fridge. There we go. And uh, we can also give them a little bit of unhealthy stuff. So let's see. What about some Doritos? Yeah, this could be nice. Ooh, nobody can resist Doritos. Exactly. People are going to be throwing us their diamonds. But anyway, let's just copy this fridge and put one inside of each and every single one of these rooms here. I guess in the VIP room, we could put down two of these fridges. They can have extra snacks. And of course, we also have to make sure to put down the sign. So let me copy this and put the sign over here and over here. Boom. There we go. And whoa, this VIP room is looking really nice. Yeah, it is. They're even going to get a desk. Whoa, that looks sick. And all right, are all the other rooms decorated? Yep. The other rooms look pretty good. And here, all we have to do now is just add in a roof. So let me select this position and also this position. And let me run the command slash slash set magma. Boom. There we go. Now I just have to manually fill in this area. And whoa. Oh, wait. Okay, this area is looking pretty cool. Although, it kind of just looks like a, a big box made out of magma blocks from this side. I think what we can do to fix that is just add some windows. So, let me just select here and also over here. And let's run the command. Slash, slash, set. Glass. Boom. There we go. And yeah, okay. I think windows really make the area look like a lot more open. Oh, I think you're right. Yeah, windows actually add so much. We should add those everywhere. So, let's see. How does it look now with all these windows? And, ooh, okay. This is looking pretty sick. In fact, wait. We should make these like double-decker windows. Let's add another layer of them. Whoa. Oh, this really makes a VIP. And yeah, exactly. You know what they say? The more glass you have, the more important you are. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that's how the saying goes. I've never heard anyone say that, but I believe you. And there we go. This area is looking sick. And wait, wait, since we're going to do double-decker windows for this area, we should also do double-decker windows for the restaurant down here. So let's just add these double-decker windows right over here. And boom, there we go. Now our ship is looking awesome. But hmm, are you sure there's going to be enough space for all the passengers? I mean, it's only three rooms and there's two beds on each room. Let's count how many people is that going to be. One, two, and then uh, three, four, and then uh, five, six. That's going to be like six people on the entire ship. Do you really think that's going to be enough? Oh, maybe it's not, but um, we could stack this. And ooh, yeah, you're right. We could stack this entire room up. I guess we should probably do that. Let's just select all of this over here. And then let's just run the command slash 
slash slash stack. Boom. There we go. And check it out. Now we've got double decker bedrooms and this is looking pretty nice. Okay. Now we just doubled the amount of space that we have on the ship, but I'm still not sure if it's going to be enough. Like where's the captain and like chefs in the kitchen going to sleep and all that, you know? Oh, I guess you're right. Where do they usually sleep on ships? Hmm, I'm not sure, but wait a minute. You said that we could expand underneath the ship, right? What if we build an area underneath the ship where all of like the staff and employees can sleep? Oh, that sounds like a good idea. So that way they're not in the way of anybody else. Exactly. They won't have to interfere with like all the normal passengers and pretty much we can like set the walls to be made out of glass as well. That way they can see everything that's going on underneath the ocean. I hope they get to see a shark. I love sharks. That would be sick. But here, let's just finish up this area for now. Let's just continue putting all those fences there and should probably also put some fences on this side just to make sure that no one falls off from any side. Oh, that's true. I put a ladder on the inside over here. And ooh, nice, nice, nice. That way people can get up to the second floor if they need to. Looking good. I guess in that case, we can remove this hole in the wall since we don't need that. We could probably just add more windows. And ooh, yeah, yeah, you're right. We need some windows on this side as well. All right, let me break all of these fences that I put over here first and then we can start putting down the windows. And oh, wait, we can also put some windows down over here for this room just like that. There we go. Looking nice. And wait, we can also do that over here on the first floor as well. Oh, yeah. This room is going to be worth a lot since you can see out more windows. And exactly the more windows a room has, the more we can charge for it. Uh, so I guess this one's going to cost like 10 diamonds and then the other ones can cost uh, five diamonds since they only have one window. That's going to be a steal. Exactly. But anyways, now that we got all the rooms up here complete, I think it's time to start building the rooms underneath the ship. So uh, here, how are we going to do this? We got to make sure to have it look very smooth and natural like a normal ship. We don't want to just have like a big block sticking through the bottom of our ship. Oh, I see. You want it to be round on the bottom? Exactly. Yeah, it's going to be round. And oh, wait, hold on. We also got to be careful not to like go underneath the restaurant area because then people aren't going to be able to see in the ocean. Oh, man, this is complicated. And hmm, yeah. Okay, well, I guess we can just end it off over here. The employees shouldn't need that much room since there's not going to be that many of them compared to like actual passengers. And yeah, we can just have it like be over here. And now we just have to make it like round off a little bit. Hopefully we have enough room for everybody. And yeah, hmm, rounding it off is going to get rid of a lot of the space. But I think in the end, we should have enough room. Let's just continue this and let's see how it goes. Okay, we're almost done. All right, all right. I think it's looking pretty good so far. I think we should have enough room. The rooms are going to be a little bit smaller down here, but it's fine since, you know, the employees aren't going to be spending most of their time in their room since, you know, they're going to be like, uh, you know, doing stuff for the ship. Yeah, if they're supposed to be working, then they should be working, right? Exactly. So they don't even need like huge rooms or anything. So here we're almost done. We just got to finish putting down these last few blocks over here. Dress like this. Boom. And okay, I think this should be enough room, although it's kind of like in an awkward shape. It should definitely be enough for like the, you know, staff to sleep and stuff. All right. Now we just have to clear out all this water. Yeah, it should be pretty simple. Let's just grab a few sponge and let's just uh, sponge this entire place up and, and oh yeah now this is looking a lot nicer now that there isn't a bunch of water everywhere yeah there we go this is what i'm talking about all right so how are we gonna build these bedrooms i guess the first thing we should probably do is build like a little ladder down here so people could get down and oh wait we should build it over here near the front of the ship oh that's right so it's near the captain's area exactly and oh wait what we could do is have the captain's bedroom be right over here in like the very front of the ship and then we can have like a staircase to get down to like all of the other bedrooms down here that's a good use of space i like that idea yeah. All right, all right. Well, here, let's just build up this area over here for the captain and uh, just build up the walls a little bit. And to make the most of our space, what we could do is grab some of these brick slabs and just put them all over here. That way, we're only taking up half a block rather than taking up an entire block. So the captain is going to have a little bit more room to like jump around. Ooh, these slabs look so cool. All right, three, two, one, flick the lever, go! Wait, what What are they doing? What's going on? I'm seeing some cannons. Are they attacking us? Hey, hey, wait, what, what, what is this? Hey, guys, what are you doing? Eat mud. Oh my god. Hey, what is that? We're firing mud at your ship. Wait, we combine our elemental powers to, you know, fire mud at you. Yeah, water and earth. What? You guys made mud shooters to shoot mud at our ship? That is a dirty tactic, and you should be ashamed. I get it, dirty mud. Okay, okay. I didn't know we were building pirate ships. Okay, well, uh, if you guys want to build cannons on your ship, well, then we'll build cannons as well. Just come back in uh, like 10 minutes. Okay, we'll be waiting. But uh, here, you can just take these for now. And oh my gosh, we don't need your mud. Get this stuff out of here. This is so gross. You. I'm just gonna leave that there. Hopefully it burns away from these magma blocks. But anyways, we gotta finish up the captain's room. And then we gotta build a cannon to get back at them. I didn't know they were up to that. I didn't know they were up to such dirty stuff. Yeah, that's a pretty messed up tactic. But here, let's just finish up this captain's bedroom first. We can just expand this a little bit. We can have like his room go underneath the stairs a little bit. We gotta make use of all of the space that we have because we cannot have a single wasted inch of space here. Yeah, we have to make his room comfortable because if he doesn't sleep, then this ship is gonna crash. And yeah, yeah, exactly. He's pretty much like the most important 
second person on the ship. He's like the ultimate VIP. So what we could do is, uh, let's see, we can have some magma blocks over here like this, and uh, we can have his door be right over here. So let me grab one of these doors and put that down right over here. That's looking pretty nice. And now we just gotta like add some beds and stuff to the room. And ooh, we also gotta add some windows. Ooh, you're right. He's gonna like that. Exactly. Windows are gonna look sick. Let's just put those all around over here. And now let's grab a bed. And we gotta add like a really comfy bed for him because like you said earlier, he needs to have good sleep. So let's just add like three of these orange beds. Yeah, that's a big bed. Ooh, king size. Exactly. And here, let's also grab some of these bedside cabinets. We can just put those over here like that. And uh, hmm, wait, what else is a captain gonna need in his bedroom? Mm. I think he's gonna need some fancy lamps. And oh, yeah, yeah, we gotta make sure to give him everything he might need. But anyways, now I think this area should be done. Now we gotta build the rooms for the other employees. So we just gotta go down here. And I guess we can just have like a ladder go down. Yeah, I think this will be good. Because if the captain needs anyone, he can just go right down here. Exactly. He's gonna be right next to them. So here, let's just put this down over here. And okay, here's what I was thinking. What we could do is like have another hallway. We can have the main floor be over here. So let's just cover all of this up with some orange wool. Boom, there we go. And then we can have like a few rooms in here. And then inside each of the rooms, we can have like an extra storage compartment underneath it down here. Oh, people can store their luggage there. Exactly. It's going to be a perfect use of space. But anyways, let's build those rooms now. So here, I guess we can uh, build the first room. Okay, this is going to be kind of awkward. We don't really have much space to work with. We can just give them one big bed and they can all share, right? And ooh, yeah, actually, you're right. We could do that. Or we can have two rooms. We can have like one room over here. And we can have another room over here here. Uh, wait, what do you think? Oh, let's do the two-room method. Yeah, okay. I think two rooms should be enough. Look, we're only gonna need a few employees on this ship, so they definitely should be able to live in only two rooms. Yeah, this should be fine. So let's just build these two rooms over here like that, and let's grab some of these doors. Oh, let's add some birch doors for them, so we can put that down like that, and now we just gotta add, like, the beds and all that, so let's grab some beds, and here, let's just put down, like, a bunch of beds, because there's probably gonna be multiple of them sleeping per room. Yeah, I think so. I guess we can just put them down like that. That should look uh, pretty good. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah, we gotta maximize the space that we have. Exactly, exactly. And here, I'll add these beds inside of this room as well. And, ooh, wait, we have some more space in this room. We can add three like that, and then one like that. That's looking pretty good. Mm -hmm. I think we're missing giving them extra storage space. What do you say we use barrels? And oh, yeah, yeah, we could use some barrels for storage space as well. Let me grab some of those. And ooh, what we could do is just have barrels like over here. Yeah, this could be a good use of space. Ooh, I didn't even think of putting it there. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be like an overhead compartment where they could like put all their extra luggage and stuff. And let's do the same over here in this room. And for some extra storage space, we could also give them their little storage area down over here where they can like put their luggage and stuff down if they need to. And wait, we should also probably... Uh, split this area up into two rooms. So there we go. And let's also grab some ladders so that if anyone accidentally falls down here, you know, they can uh, get back up. So let's just add those there like that. Boom. There we go. That is looking pretty sick. That's awesome. But now we should add some windows so they can see the ocean. And oh yeah, you're right. We are underneath the ocean right now. I completely forgot about that. So if we just break out over here, look at that. We can see the ocean. This is actually awesome. Ooh, I hope none of them are scared of the ocean. And oh yeah. And hopefully none of this glass breaks. That would be very bad. But other than that, this area is is actually looking sick. I'm not gonna lie. These employees probably have nicer rooms than the passengers. This underwater room is awesome. Yeah, especially since it's all shared. It's like you're having a sleepover every day. And yeah, exactly. They can like sleep with their friends. And wait, we should also add another one of those storage compartments over here. So let me grab a trap door. We can put that right there. Boom. Let's also add another ladder just like that. And boom, there we go. The storage area is complete. And I'm pretty sure that means that these bedrooms are also complete. Let's go. Woo, let's go back up. Come on. And yeah, here we gotta go build the next thing. And Okay, speaking about the next thing, it's time to get revenge on Speaker Man and Speaker Baby. They think they can get away with shooting mud balls at our ship. We cannot let that slide. We gotta add some defenses. Defenses? You said that we were gonna build cannons, right? And yeah, yeah, we gotta build some cannons. And here's what I was thinking. What if we build some TNT cannons? But, uh, hmm, where are we gonna build them? Um, I don't know, but I don't want the TNT to hit our boat. And yeah, true, you're right. We're gonna have to be really careful with the cannons. I guess what we could do is, like, build them off to the side over here. This could work. Oh, that's a good idea. Ooh, ooh, I have an idea. We could put a button inside of the hallway so the passengers can press it for fun. Oh, wait, that's actually a banger idea. The passengers can just like press the button and then every time they hit it, it'll fire a TNT over at Speaker Man and Speaker Baby ship. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Let me grab a little bit of smooth stone and we can just build it right over here. Yeah, so we can just have like the cannon be 
over here like this. And hopefully this doesn't actually like blow up our ship, but it shouldn't. Hopefully it actually worked. And what we need to do is grab some dispensers and let me just clear my inventory. We need to grab a lot of materials. We need some redstone, some repeaters, some buttons, and oh, we also need a slab. And here, let's just put all this stuff over here like this. We need to put the water there and the slab there. And now we need to put down all of the dispensers over here like this. Ooh, this is looking pretty crazy. Yep. And then the next thing we need to do is, um, hmm. oh, I guess we can have a dispenser over here to drop the TNT. That way it's not going to mess with the glass. And then we need to put all the redstone over here like this. And okay, how are we going to make it so that the passengers can, uh, you know, like control it? Oh, wait, what we could do is grab some redstone torches. And all right, let me test if this works. Let's just add a button over here. And wait, wh why doesn't that work? That should power it, right? Maybe try moving the redstone a little bit to the right. Oh, okay. I guess we can do that. We can just have the redstone go down over here. And then we can move the button to the right like that as well. And yeah, there we go. That works. And then what we need to do is put this redstone torch over here and then have like a little redstone torch that can... Oh, gosh, wait, what did I just do? That's not what I meant to do. Hold on. Good thing the TNT wasn't there yet. Oh, yeah. If the TNT was there, that would be very bad. But what do we do? Hold on. How do we need to do this? We need to have a way to have this redstone go all the way up to this dispenser over here. And we need to add some delay in between. So we can just like have some repeaters over here like that. How do we get this redstone signal up there? Hmm. Oh, wait, can we just build a little thing like um this? Oh, yeah, actually, we could do that. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, we can just have like the redstone go up like this and we can have the glass like this. I think this should work. Hopefully, let's test this out. Let me hit the button really quick. There we go. And oh, it didn't power it. Okay, hold on. Maybe we just have to move that over there like that. And hopefully there's going to be enough delay. Let's give this a go. Let me hit the button and wait. Okay, that works perfectly. But we need to add a little bit more delay over here. Hmm. Maybe we can just make the whole thing longer. Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess we could do that. Let me select this and let me just try slash slash moving it. There we go. And let's fill in all of this space that we messed up. Let's do that. And I guess we can just add another repeater over here. Hopefully this adds enough delay. Let's try this out. Let me just hit the button. And okay, I think that should be perfect. Should we test it out with some real TNT? I think we should. Okay, okay, here we go. Let's just grab a little bit of TNT. And hopefully none of this goes wrong and blows up everything because that would be absolutely catastrophic. Why would it go wrong? You built this so well. Yeah, yeah, I definitely knew what I was doing the whole time, hopefully. But let's just see. I think it should be ready now. Uh, do you want to hit the button? I do. I want to hit the button. Okay, okay, here I go. All right, here we go. This better work. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Moment of truth. Please do not blow up our ship. And oh, my. God. Oh, oh, wait. It did blow up our ship. Okay, well, that actually worked pretty well. It didn't blow up over here. I thought it was kind of going to blow up here. But like that actually worked surprisingly well. It only blew up a little bit over here. Wait, you thought it was going to blow up in my face? Uh, kind of. Why do you think I asked you to push the button? What? I'm, I'm nothing, nothing. I'm kidding. But here, what we need to do is repair this really quick. I think I know an easy way to fix this. What we can do is just add some more dispensers over here to have an even bigger blast so that it goes farther. So let's just repair all of this really quick. I think it didn't do too much damage. And yeah, you're right. That wasn't too bad. Uh, let's see. Oh, no way. I broke our steering wheel. Oh, gosh. Not the steering wheel. Oh, no. Let me quickly repair that. That's very important. We need to be able to steer the ship. So there we go. I think that's good. And here, let me just check on the inside. Is everything good inside of here? And wait a minute. Hold on. This kind of looks uneven. Oh, no, wait, I think I know what we did. We accidentally put a block here. We were supposed to put it over here. Yeah. Hold on, we got to move everything in one block just like this. There we go. And okay, now that's correct, I think. Oh, that looks a lot better. And here, let's just finish adding these few blocks over here like that. And also these fences. And boom, there we go. Good as new. Should we take it for another test? Except I need to make these changes. Let me just grab some dispensers over here and put those down right over here like that. This way, the cannon should have more power and it should go even farther and actually hit the target that we want it to hit. So I think we're ready for another test. Also, I think we should move this a little bit higher. I think the TNT's hitting it and moving it down. Oh, oh, wait. Actually, I think you might be right. I'm pretty sure it's like ricocheting like that and then going down. Okay, yeah, we should definitely move this up. Let's just select all of this and slash slash move it up a little bit. There we go. And oh, okay, hold on. Now we have to fix this problem again. But wait, what we could do now is just put a block over here and put a redstone torch on top of it and then put another redstone torch and put that. Oh, wait, actually, let me disconnect this real quick. Put this redstone torch over here like that. And now whenever someone hits the button this redstone torch should turn on for a second wait can you try hitting the button i have to hit it again and yeah, yeah don't worry it's not gonna blow up this time though or actually let me disconnect this so that it actually doesn't blow up and yeah just hit it right now it should turn this torch on for one second so did you hit it okay i'm gonna hit it now i'm just nervous okay 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 all right here we go and oh the way it didn't work and oh gosh wait there's one tnt in there oh don't worry about that it's fine oh wait did it work i think maybe we have to replace this with a full block rather than glass and let's try this is this gonna work okay wait Try it again. Okay, and here I go. Oh, wait. Okay, I see the problem. Okay, okay. So what we need to do is 
use this redstone torch instead. So let's just put this over here like that. And then we can put all of our repeaters over here. And okay, I think that should work. Let's just add one more repeater over here for some extra delay. And okay, let me just connect everything up again like this. And okay, now I think we're ready for uh, test two. Okay, test two. Here we go. And all right, here we go. This better work. Hopefully it doesn't blow up. And oh, wait, hold on. Something went wrong. What happened? Oh, oh, wait. I think I need to put this over here like that. Okay, try it one more time. Third time is a charm, I guess. Let's go. Here we go. And oh, the way it didn't work again. Oh. Dash, you're doing something wrong, I think. I see the issue. I need to place a block over here. There we go. Now it should work. Okay, try that now. This should work. I promise. You promise? I think so. And yes, it looks like it's working. Here we go. Come on. And oh my gosh. Did you see that? Look at how much damage we did to Speaker Man, Speaker Baby's boat. Wait, I think you blew a hole through the hole. Oh my gosh. That was awesome. But wait, what? They have obsidian over here. They thought of this. Wait, I think they were expecting us to do this. Oh my gosh. Wait, do they have obsidian over here as well? And what? Do they really have obsidian around their entire ship? What in the world? <laughs> you actually thought you could get us with that? No, we stay prepared. Oh my gosh. They really had obsidian there the whole time. Okay, well, it's fine. It's fine. Let's try again. Maybe we can hit another part of the ship. Let me try hitting the button one more time. Here we go. Let's see. Is this one going to hit the obsidian again? Hopefully, it like goes and lands in their tower. And oh no, it landed on our ship. And oh, wait, it, I think it landed in the water, actually. That's good. But I think you need to move this cannon somewhere else. Yeah, I think you're right. What we can do is just select all of this, just like this. And then let's just move it up one floor. That way we can, like, actually hit a better target, and that way it's not going to land on our ship. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. And, yeah, check this out. Look, we're lined up perfectly with the deck of their ship. Wait, do you want to try hitting the button again? There is no button yet. Oh, oh, yeah, right. Hold on. I need to place the button again. Let me grab one of those and put it down here. And, okay, now it should be ready. You can do it. You can hit the button whenever you're ready. Okay, in three, two, one, let's go. Here we go. All right, hopefully this one actually, like, hits something important. And whoa! Okay, that one went a little bit too high. I think our TNT cannon is very inconsistent. Assistant. Yeah, I think so. I'm not sure how to fix it. Yeah, I'm not sure either. Let's just save it for the passengers. You know, it could just be like a little fun gimmick for them. Anyways, now that we got the TNT cannon done, what else do we need to build for our ship? Oh, Dash, we've been building a lot of fire stuff, but can we build something ice now? Oh, oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. We have been building a lot of fire stuff, but hmm, what ice thing were you thinking? Well, we've been building a lot of living and like eating stuff, so what about something fun? Oh, yeah, you're right. We need some sort of activity to keep people entertained on the ship. Well, uh, what could we do? Um, what do people like on cruise ships anyways? Like, water slides or, like, pools or... What about a go-kart track? What? A go-kart track? I've never seen a cruise ship with a go-kart track. No, no, no. Trust me. It's gonna be sick. Our ship is gonna be different. It's gonna have a go-kart track and, uh, ooh, we should have, like, an option where there's gonna be, like, a ramp that allows you to, like, ride off into the ocean with the go-kart. That could be sick! Wait, that sounds cool. As long as we make it safe, I guess. And, yeah, yeah, we gotta make sure to make it safe and stuff, but wait, where should we build it? Should we just build it on the next floor? I guess so. We can kind of, like, make it go around the top floor like this, maybe? And, oh yeah, yeah, you're right. We can, like, have it go around, like, a track and everything. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Let's just have a bunch of ice over here like this, since we're building this one ice themed. Then let me grab the wand again. That's gonna make things a lot faster. Let me just set all of this into some packed ice. Boom, there we go. This floor is looking sick. Wait, Dash, watch this. And wait, what's your idea? And whoa, wait a minute. I forgot that you can ride boat super quickly on ice. Wait, that's gonna be perfect. Yeah, and if they fall off, they're gonna be in a boat, so they're gonna be safe. Exactly! They're gonna land into the water with a boat. Okay, there's actually a genius idea. Let's just have this track go all the way around over here. And I'll pack it over here. Alright, sounds good. And wait a minute, we should have no fence or anything on the side. That way, people actually have to be, like, good at driving. And if they fall off, like, nothing's bad's gonna happen to them. Ooh, that's a good idea. Yeah, it's gonna be super fun. Everyone's gonna be so hyped to go on it, but here, let's just continue putting this track all the way around over here just like this there we go looking nice and wait hold on what should we put in the middle over here i guess in the middle is where we can have all the boats so i guess over here we can have like a little fenced off area yeah this can be like the kitty boat area and oh yeah actually that's a good idea this can be like the area for like the kids so uh, i guess we can fence off like the inside over here so that the real racers don't fall into the area with the kids but they'll still be able to fall into the water that's a good idea dash so yeah let's just build these fences going all the way around the inside inside of the track. This is looking nice. Okay, this looks great. Wait, how are people gonna get up here? Oh, yeah, you're right. Now we need to add a way for people to get up. So, uh, I guess what we could do is go down over here, and we can just have another ladder. Yeah, so we 
can just go up over here and we can just extend this ladder going up and yeah okay this works yeah that looks great nice nice looking good and now we need to add a way for people to get onto the real track so let's grab some gates really quick and we can just put down a gate right over here like that and if people want to go onto the real track they can bring their boat onto the real track and we'll already like give people a bunch of boats all over here or actually wait what we should do is grab a dispenser and we can just have like three dispensers down over here like that and let me also grab a button and let's just put these buttons all over here like that and check this out inside of the dispenser we can put a bunch of boats and whenever someone wants to you know uh, take a boat for a spin they can just press the button and instantly get their boat that is so smart but wait do you want to do a race Ooh, yeah we have to test it out all right well here let's hit the button to get some boats and i got mine here let's just go over here onto the track and okay this is kind of a narrow track but uh i'm ready i think i'm gonna fall off but i'm ready and all right well it's fine if we fall off we just gotta make sure not to fall off on the actual ship itself oh gosh wait that actually gives me an idea we should probably put some fences like over here so that people don't fall onto the ship oh you're right because if they hit someone else they might get hurt and yeah we only want them falling into the water not on the actual ship itself so yeah let's just put these fences around here like that and we don't have to put any on this side since it's the end of the ship and all right i'm ready let me hop back into the boat all ready ready to go yep let's go in three two one here we go and oh oh wait i'm plopping off and oh okay that is a lot harder than i thought i win and oh wait you fell off over there but wow wait you made it a lot farther than i did okay that is actually really challenging yeah maybe it's a little bit too difficult okay yeah you might be right maybe let's just make the track a little bit wider i think this will be better for multiple people if they're like racing on the track at the same time i think you're right so yeah let's just extend all of this just like that looking good and i'll put down some extra fences awesome but anyways now that we have the go-kart track area thingy up here complete we should probably add like some area where if people fall down here they can like get back on to the ship we need to add like some sort of dock so that they can get back on oh wait that's right because if they fall off how they're gonna get back on and yeah exactly so uh i guess we can just like build it right over here like in the middle we can just have like a little dock over here like that and wait we should also set the floor into ice so that people know that it's like part of the go-kart track and yeah that looks pretty good yeah and they can go swing in the ocean if they want to oh yeah exactly they can like go over here and go for a dive let's go and then they can go spy on what the employees are doing by looking through their windows oh i don't know about that it's kind of cold out here and oh yeah you're right the water is pretty cold but wait a minute hold on since the water is so cold we should probably have some sort of like safety measures you know in case the ship like uh, sinks or anything we need to have some life rafts oh it'd be awful if something happened and they couldn't escape and yeah you're right okay we definitely need some life rafts but uh hmm, where could we build them we don't really have much room on the sides oh you're right we don't have a lot of room on the sides um what if we had a flying life raft wait a flying life raft i actually like that idea that way people aren't gonna have to like worry about the water splashing on them and stuff since they'll be way up in the sky i guess we can just like build it up over here in that case we can just have this ladder go up more yeah that sounds like a great idea but wait wait, hold on what are we actually gonna build for the life raft how are we gonna build a flying life raft oh i didn't actually think that far oh okay well let me see what can we do let me go into the redstone category and <gasps> why don't we build a slime block flying machine let me get some slime blocks really quick and i'm pretty sure i know how to build these I do not understand what that is. I'll build a platform for them. All right, yeah, you can build the platform. I'll build the flying machine itself. So here, I guess I'll just like uh, build off over here in the distance. And let me see. I need to find a design that works. And I'm pretty sure all we need to do is just have like a piston going this way and then a slime block and then a normal piston facing back like that. And then uh, what do we need next? Oh, actually, wait, hold on. What we need to do next is have another piston going like that. Or no, we need to have a slime block this way. Do you know what you're doing right now? I think so. Uh, we need to have this go like like this there we go and wait, that didn't work what do we need to do oh we need to have one of these pistons over here like that and then let's have another observer over here and wait did that work come on do something can you fly already uh, machine this is supposed to be flying right now Dash, are you okay do you need to take a break is your brain being fried and no 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 don't worry about it look it's kind of working maybe i just have to replace this with that thing and oh it's kind of moving okay maybe we should just build normal life rafts this looks really dangerous and, and no, no 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 come on we cannot give up on this idea this easily okay i'm trying another design let me just break all this you got it i believe in you and yeah, yeah i got this here i have another idea for a design what i need to do is have uh two slime blocks over here and then two slime blocks over here and then i need to have a sticky piston going in like that and then an observer going in like that yeah okay that looks right does that look right to you that's so complicated i think this should work and then we need to have a piston going in like that and then another observer going in like that and then when i put a button over here it should start going in yes check it out look it's moving automatically and that is awesome that is awesome 
system, it's just moving in the wrong direction. And oh, don't even worry about that. All we have to do to fix that is just replace this with a sticky piston and then this with a normal piston. And then let me just uh, activate this. And there we go. Check it out. It took one of the blocks with it. But look, that's awesome. Yeah, that is pretty awesome. So how does it stop? And oh, oh, it doesn't. But you know, it's fine. You know, it'll just keep going until uh, whoever is on it makes it to land. And yeah, that's why it's the perfect life raft. It doesn't even run on any fuel. So it's just going to keep going forever. I guess that's good. And yeah, it's awesome. But here, I need to stop this one really quick. One way to stop it is to just put some obsidian over there like that. And boom, there we go. It is stopped here. Let me select this one with my wand and slash slash copy it. Oh, that way you can put down a couple of them at once. Exactly. And now let me come over here to the platform. And yeah, we can just like paste in several of them over here. So uh, here, I guess we can have uh, one off to the side over here. Let me slash slash paste this in. Boom. There we go. And oh, it started moving. Hold on. Let me uh, try pasting it in a little bit farther away. There we go. And oh, okay. Yeah, that's good. Ooh, this is awesome. We should put down some more. And yeah, yeah. Here, what we can do is just select these positions and then run the command slash slash stack. Boom. There we go. Now we've got another one. And let's do it one more time. Boom. There we go. Now we've got three. Now we just got to do the same thing on the other side. Ooh. Can you just copy paste it? Yep, I should be able to. Let me just select all of this over here and run the command slash slash copy. And let me go over to the other side and slash slash paste. Boom. There we go. Oh, wait, actually, let me undo that. I need to paste it in a little bit closer. There we go. And nice. That is looking awesome here. We should probably build a roof for this area, actually. Oh, that's right. In case it rains or something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We can just like build it out of some fences just like this. And then we can select this and slash slash stack it again. Boom. There we go. And now let's just put some more fences over here on this side. Oh, let's put down some caution colors so people see that this is for emergencies. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. We can have some of this wool over here. And yeah, that's a good idea. Let's just have this go all the way around. I'll do it on this side over here. All right. Let's just have this go all the way around this entire platform just like this. And boom, there we go. Hopefully this lets people know that this isn't like a fun activity or anything. And it's actually the emergency escapes. Yeah, hopefully they don't try to come up here and play with the escape things. And yeah, that would be very bad. In fact, we should probably put down a big sign uh, just warning people for that. I'm just gonna put down a sign over here saying, uh, or actually, wait, hold on. What we should do first is let's just clean this area up a little bit. Let's put down some of these fences here like that. There we go. And let's just put these over here. I'm just gonna put down this sign over here saying emergency escape life raft. Yeah, that should be good. That looks like it's correct to me. Yep, hopefully this gets people to not use these things for fun and like actually use them only for emergencies. Yeah, you're right. And what is that over there? Oh, wait a minute. I think they built a flag or tried to build a flag. Why is it made out of solid gold? That's such a bad flag material. That is huge. Oh, I see you guys caught a glimpse of our awesome flag. Wait, what's the point of this? It's literally made out of solid gold. This isn't gonna, like, push your ship forward at all. It's probably just gonna weigh it down. No, actually, uh, gold is very good at catching wind and pushing us along. Yeah, it's the lightest metal. Yeah, and wait, is that a money sign in the middle of it? Yeah, because we're all about making moolah. Okay, but wait, Ruby, we should probably build a flag as well. That's actually a pretty cool idea, but we should build ours out of, like, wool or something so that it actually can, like, catch the wind. Well, yeah, our flag is gonna be practical, unlike theirs. Yeah, but what is that thing? That's like a flex flag. We gotta build an actual flag, so here, let's just center it up. We have to go right in the middle of our ship. So right over here, I'm pretty sure. And here, let's just grab a little bit of this wood. And we can just build the flag right over here in the middle out of some of this wood. This should be good. Alrighty, I'll start building the flag out of some wool. All right, sounds good. And oh, wait, yeah, we should use some. Wait, what color wall should we use? Oh, wait, what if we build it half blue and half orange for our elemental powers? Oh, because it's going to match our ship. Exactly. It's going to look awesome. So uh, here, I guess I'll build my side over here on the left. And ooh, in the middle, we can just have it be, uh, oh, we can have it be black for like upset because, you know, when fire and water mix, you get obsidian. Wait, that's awesome. Yep, let's just put this all over here. And then now we just got to build the sail. So let's just have it go up like that. And okay, I've never really built a sail before. So I'm not sure if this is going to look good. Um, me neither. But uh, I guess we can make a big rectangle. And yeah, we can just have like a big rectangle. And then we just have to have it go like off to the side over here like this a little bit. Uh, it seems pretty simple. We got this. And here, wait, actually, wait, Ruby. I think what we need to do over here is have it go inwards a little bit at the bottom like this. So I think this is what we need to do. And here, wait, we can also do that over here at the top as well. Just have it go inwards a little bit. This way, it'll look like it's actually catching the wind. So there we go. And oh, okay, that's looking kind of nice. And then, oh, wait, we just have to like fade it out over here as well. We just have to make it go like smaller and smaller like this. Want to help me copy it on the other side? And yeah, yeah, here, I got you. Let's just do the exact same thing over here. And there we go. I 
think that should be good. And let me see. I think everything is even in... Oh, yeah, there we go. That looks pretty nice. And here, let me take a look at everything. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, we need to get rid of this block over here. And yeah, there we go. I think everything should be even now. Let's go. This looks awesome. Well, I guess our entire ship is done then, right? And I think so. And wait a minute. Hold on. Speaker Man and Speaker Baby, are you guys done with your ship? Boing. Oh, what's going on? What are you guys doing? What am I hearing right now? Oh, we've been done. We just had to find a way to pass the time. What? You've just been bouncing on these diving boards that entire time? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, they make a funny noise. Do you hear them? Okay, well, uh, since you guys are done, we should take a tour of each other's ships. Wait, let's check out your guys' ship first. Oh, yeah, we'll start with the best first. That sounds pretty good to me. Uh, where should we start, Speaker Baby? I guess right here at this entrance for the lounge. You guys have had so much time to think about your tour. You would think you'd know how to start. Uh, yeah, whatever. But uh, as you can see here, we've got our lounge kitchen area that costs 100 emeralds an hour to stay at. Wait, what? 100 emeralds an hour? Dude, that's such a scam. No, this is the cream of the cream of the best. But that's way too expensive. Do you guys even charge for the air that we breathe? No, that's complimentary. Yeah, we didn't want to be too rude. What? You guys were thinking about charging for the air? Okay, well, hold on. You better have some really good food if it costs 100 emeralds an hour. So let's see. Oh, is this your chef? Oh, what does he have? Oh, uh, well, this is our five-star chef. And uh, did you pay him this week? Oh, uh, not this week. I'll get him next week. But uh, he cooks you any meal that you ask for. What? You didn't even pay your chef? Okay, well, hold on. Let me test this guy out. Can you cook me a medium rare dry rub uh, salmon, please? I'd like that. Speaker of me, that was you. I saw you throw that. Uh, no, it wasn't me. It was the chef. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure he's not doing anything. He kind of just looks like a random guy. Uh, here, ask for something else. He'll give it to you. I'll, I'll ask for something. Can I have a medium rare filet mignon? All right, sure. Coming right up. That was totally Speaker Baby saying that. I literally saw Speaker Man pass the steak to Speaker Baby and then Speaker Baby pass it over to Ruby. <laughs> Are you trying to whistle your way out of this? No, okay, hold on. Oh, do you see that whale right there? There's a whale. This is such a scam, Dash. Okay, yeah, this is 100 emeralds an hour. There is a complete scam. Okay, what else do you have? Do you have anything that isn't a scam? Uh, yeah, we'll head down. Uh, let's go down to the bottom floor first. All right, all right, let's see. What do we got up here? And wait, what is this? Commoner water, 20 emeralds straight from iceberg. Wait, what? Yeah, we sell water here. Since I'm the water elemental, uh, you know, we sell it and I uh, make a profit and I'm a millionaire, billionaire, trillionaire. Wait, 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 40 emeralds for how much? water like like one crate of water or two crate how many crates of water is for 40 emeralds oh that's a that's a bottle what 40 emeralds for one bottle dude that is actually such a big scam what this is just for the commoners it gets more expensive your powers are water it should be free yeah you can't you like generate it for free <laughs> oh well it's free for us yeah that doesn't mean we have to give it out for free but uh as you can see here we've got our engine room don't talk to him he's angry oh whoa, what is that whoa this guy actually looks pretty cool he kind of looks like a fire elemental is he one of your workers uh yeah he's the engine man and he makes Make sure the engine keeps running. He was a villager at one point. What the? This guy was a villager at some point? What happened to him? Well, he tried to drink the water without paying. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, well, there's a pretty nice looking engine room you guys got. A lot of smoke here. This looks very safe, definitely. Wait, Dash, he's a fire elemental, right? Don't you know him? And I've actually never seen this guy before, but he looks pretty chill. Yo, what up, dude? And I don't think he talked. He seems kind of shy. Maybe he's sad. Yeah, we got the wish to shut him up. But anyway, if you guys follow me this way. And okay, what do you have this way? The living quarters. Oh, we had one of these too. Oh yeah, this is for the commoners. Uh, as you can see, uh, you gotta go through there. I, wait, what? This is all you have for your rooms? Why are they so small? Don't you know? These are the new style. It's like 4,000 emeralds a day to live here. What? 4,000 emeralds a day? Dude, you don't even have any windows here. You could have like easily added some windows here and it would have looked so much nicer here. I'll add them for you. Hey, stop. That's expensive. These walls are uh, very expensive and people like to just stare at the wall instead of the window. Okay, uh, you have really weird passengers, I will say. I can't believe that you charge this much. Our rooms are bigger and and it's just 10 diamonds. And yeah, it was 10 diamonds for our most expensive one. Our the normal ones are like five diamonds. Well, the customers want and the customers pay. Yeah, he's got a point. But up here, we have our next floor, which is the arcade. And whoa, wait, you guys have an arcade? This looks sick. And yo, wait, is this the chef from earlier? Hi there. Oh, no, that's not the chef. That's his brother. Uh oh, it's his brother. Well, this arcade area actually looks pretty cool. What type of game do you guys got? And oh, you have Pac-Man. Yo, wait here. I'm about to pop off in Pac-Man. Get ready. Check this out. Wait, Dash, each game is 60 emeralds. Wait, 60 emeralds? Oh, uh, never mind, never mind. I didn't do anything. Yeah, it's 60 emeralds per game. Remember that. Oh, oh, okay. Well, let's just move on to the next room. I don't really want to play in the arcade. All right, well, it's all the way up here. This is our uh, worker room where they find all the best water. What? Why are they in cages? You know, it's uh, more enticing that way. They work better. I think they're crying. Yeah, what the? This one in the corner over here looks pretty lonely. We have like whole rooms for our employees. They have like an entire room underneath the ship. They have like the best view of the ocean. It's sick. I was worried we didn't treat our
our workers right, but this is something else. And yeah, this makes our area look like paradise. Well, our workers each have their own room. See, look, there's a room right there, a room right there, and there. These aren't rooms. There's not even a bed. Yeah, I don't really want to be in this room. Let's just see what you got on the next floor. And wait, what is this? Hold on, there's a sign. Commoner water free for the VIP. What? You have to drink it out of the, like, this thing? Yeah, this is the infinite water source. I told you we get it for free. But are you a VIP? Yeah, yeah, I'm a VIP. I have uh, a VIP ticket right here. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I guess you can take a drink. But uh, if you want, you can upgrade to the more expensive, uh, just a tiny little bit more expensive, uh, the Himalayan water. 800 emerald blocks. Wait, for the entire thing? No, this is for one sip. What? Okay. Uh, yeah, no, I'm good. I'm just going to move on to the next room. I don't even think Himalayan is spelled right. It's straight from the Himalayas. And this is the VIP lounge where you can talk amongst the other VIPs. And whoa, okay, well, it makes sense why there's only like three chairs here. I guess there isn't that many VIPs. This couch is sweet. Oh no, there's many VIPs, but there's only a few allowed on the boat at the same time because they don't spend as much money as commoners. Okay, but anyways, what do you got on the next floor? Let's check this out. And what the, uh, what? Captain? Co-captain? Why are they inside of ice? They've got to get busy somehow. Listen, I'm the ice elemental, but this is not good. And yeah, you can't just freeze your captain. Like, look at this guy. He is like, you know, I'm just going to break him out. There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, are you going to pay for his mortgage? Oh my gosh. How is he supposed to control the ship if he's like freezing cold? We just did them a favor. No, you didn't. You just cost me money. You're supposed to treat your captains with respect, speaker man. Yeah, yeah, whatever. But up here, we have our uh, mud generator. Your mud generator? What the? Do wait, you guys have like a whole mud factory over here? Remember the cannons that we used on you? Oh, this is where you got the mud from, huh? Yeah, if you look inside these chests, it's all the mud that we made. Oh my God. You guys already have mud shot charges. What the? You guys have the pigs generating it? Yeah, they're very dirty. So they generate a bunch of dirt and then we combine it with the infinite water source and then we make mud. Whoa, okay. You guys seem like you have a whole production going here. It's kind of gross in here. Oh, what? You don't like dirt? No, I don't like dirt. What, do you not like mud? No, because you tried to throw it at us. Can we go somewhere else, please? Yeah, this room is kind of weird. It kind of smells bad. Uh, let's just move on to the next floor. Wait, is this the last floor? Wait, oh, what's this? We shouldn't be here. This is our legal department. Why do you guys have a legal department? Wait, what's inside of these chests over here? Legal department employee? What the? Wait, why are their heads here? Yeah, we should probably leave now. Let's just get out of here. Okay, well, was that your guys' entire ship? That was interesting. Yeah, that was the entire tour. That was expensive, uh, I guess. Yeah, I don't think that was really worth it. I don't think I'm gonna be uh, coming back anytime soon. But anyways, do you guys want to check out our ship? It is uh, a little bit more uh, friendly and good. Just Yeah, it's just good. Oh, yeah, I want to see your business strategy. Our business strategy. Okay, well, uh, here, I guess we can start off over here. This right here is the captain's area. Pretty much the captain can go up over here and this is where you can steer the ship we've got the steering wheel right over here and you can use this to turn the ship whichever way it needs to go oh i feel like he's got a little bit too much room up here what do you mean too much room he has to look through the front and the back to make sure we don't crash into anything yeah exactly it's just enough and where exactly is your captain and oh, oh well uh we haven't hired people yet but uh, this is where he's gonna be once we hire them yeah we have to make sure everything was safe and up to code first and yeah exactly hang on speaker man what is the safety thing they're talking about i don't know a bunch of gibberish they're speaking I don't know. What you? Okay, well, let's just move on to the next part. Over here, we have the restaurant. And it is actually pretty cool here. Why don't you guys all take a seat? Me and Ruby actually set up some food for everyone here. It's pretty awesome. Oh, do you guys serve that safe tea here? Wait, what? Safe tea? Um, safe tea isn't a tea. Is it sweet? I'm kind of on a diet. And no, guys, it's not like a tea drink. Safety, like, like the opposite of dangerous. Yeah, no, it's not ringing any bells. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, it's fine. It's fine. We already have pre-prepared food for you guys. So, um, speaker baby, you're the earth elemental, right? So what I've got for you over here is a moss pie because I know earth people really love moss. Oh, this looks uh, interesting, but uh, I don't really care about moss. The only green I care about is money. What? Okay, well, uh, speaker man, we have something pretty good for you as well. So since you're the water elemental, we got you some fish because, you know, fish I, go in the ocean and, you know, ocean water, all that. Actually, I'm allergic to fish. How are you the water elemental but you're allergic to fish? Because water doesn't mean fish. It just means water, you know, H2O. Oh, I guess dinner kind of failed. I told you this kind of looked weird. I guess so. I thought they were going to like it, but actually, uh, we do have like a whole kitchen back over here if you guys want to like, come around and make your own food. Make our own food? Uh, where's the five-star chef? Well, we don't have a chef right now. We haven't hired anyone yet, remember? You guys need to get on your chef and servant duty. Yeah, I'm not cooking. I don't even know how to make my own safe tea. What? Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I, I guess if you guys don't want to eat, then that's that's all right. We can just move on to the next thing. I don't eat anything unless it's above two Michelin stars. Ooh, ooh Dash, we can show them the living quarters. Ooh, yeah, yeah, we can. Oh, wait, 
We should show them the captain and employee living quarters first. Maybe they can like take some lessons from this. So here, guys, check it out. This is our captain living quarter. You know, very spacious, nice looking room. Yeah, why does he have so much room? You only pay your captain quarters? What? No, we don't only pay him quarters. These are his living quarters. Like, this is where he lives. Listen, he has to have good sleep or he's just gonna crash the boat. And yeah, exactly. You can't just keep your captain inside of like ice. That's not very good. Yeah, what do you know about good? Well, if you keep your captain inside of ice, then they're gonna like get tired and then they're gonna crash the ship. And I'm sure you don't want your ship to get crashed because of all those diamonds you spent on it. Actually, being frozen keeps you young. What? And plus the amount of insurance I have on that thing, I could buy four of them if that thing crashes. What in the world? Okay, well, uh, here, why don't uh, we show them our uh, employee living areas because uh, maybe they can take some lessons from this. Check it out, guys. We have these super nice, spacious employee living areas. It's kind of cramped. We have four beds in here, but see, this is a lot more like livable than what you guys had. Yeah, it's like a sleepover every day. Oh, this is kind of like we did, except like horizontal and not vertical. No, no, no. This is nothing like what you guys did. You guys literally had iron bars. This is uh, like nice. Look how much storage they have up here. And yeah, look at that. They have all this storage up here, and they also have these storage areas down here for like any extra luggage they might want to bring on the ship. What? Our worker has plenty of storage. Uh, each computer comes with two terabytes. What? No, we're not talking about computer storage. You literally gave them like one block of space. Yeah, do you see me? That's like big. That's huge. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, uh, just follow me up here. Let let's check out the next thing. Maybe uh, you can take some inspiration from the living area. Wait, so you guys have like those super small living areas. They were just like two blocks tall. This is our living areas. Check it out. These are for the passengers. Whoa, is this a five-star hotel? What's going on? Well, yeah, we treat our passengers with respect and they're gonna love it. Look at these windows and look at that view. Exactly. And check it out. We also have a fridge and it costs one diamond per snack. It's reasonably priced. And do you guys charge by the hour or how much do you charge? No, no, it costs five diamonds per stay. Who's this wrist packed guy? Wrist packed? Who's that? Ruby said you treat all your passengers with wrist packed. Who is that? Dude, no, respect. It must be an employee. I don't think I've ever heard of him. No. Oh my gosh, guys. It's a word. But here, Ruby, we should show them the ultra VIP experience room. Right over here is the ultimate VIP room. Look at how much space this one has. This is so nice. I want to go to vacation in here. Oh, this is similar to our bedroom speaker, baby. Yeah, just a little bit smaller. And what? You guys really gave yourselves the big bedrooms, but didn't give bedrooms to the passengers? Yeah, that's kind of silly. Of course we give ourselves the biggest bedroom. Uh, we earned that boat. Oh my gosh. I mean, uh, fair enough, I guess. But uh, we've actually got another set of bedrooms all the way up here again. They're actually the same as the ones down there, except we just have another set so that we can fit more passengers on the ship. What does this button do? And oh, oh, oh wait, actually, about that button. Uh, do you want to hit it? Just uh, hit it and then follow me over here. It's pretty cool. Wait, is that TNT? And here we go. And yes, let's go. Okay, wait, why don't I hit it one more time? That one kind of missed. Ooh, I want to do it. I want to do it. Please, daddy needs a new check. Here we go. And yes, let's go. Check it out. It hit the ship. Yes. Wait, why are you cheering? Yes, finally. And wait, what, why are you excited? Now I can see you guys for everything you own. What? Oh my gosh. Right, well, just follow me up here. Let me show you the next area. Over here is our go-kart track. Go-karts? These look like boats. Yes, it's an ice boat track. And yeah, yeah. Well, they're not actual go-karts. Yeah, they're ice boats. And pretty much what you have to do is hit the button to get one. And then you can come out all the way over here and you can race them around. It's pretty sick. Wait, where's the servants and the, you know, the engine? Why do I have to paddle myself? What? Dude, it's a boat. Of course you have to paddle yourself. There's no engine on it. That's not efficient. Uh, wait, speaker man, watch this. Hey, uh, where was the ledge? Uh, I think you got another lawsuit on your hands. Oh, yep. That's another lawsuit. And what? No, guys, it was supposed to be like that. Uh, you got to be more careful. I'm going to sue you. What? No, it's supposed to do that. It's supposed to be fun. And yeah, see, pretty much it's supposed to be where if you fall, you can land in the water. And then if you want to get back on the ship, you can just go around over here, just around the front. And there's like a little dock over here, which you can get back to on the ship with. And that's three lawsuits. All right, we need to keep milking them for their money. Dash, I don't think this tour is going that well. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, let's just show them like the last part. Maybe it'll change their mind. Here, uh, follow me up here to the top. Let's just go over here and we can just like fly through really quickly since we already saw all of this stuff. And yeah, we have to go all the way to the very top. Here are the emergency emergency life rafts. These are for like extra safety. Extra safety? Where? I don't see any drinks. No, dude, not that one. Uh, yeah, I don't see any drinks around here, but uh, let me just get on one of these. Oh, oh, I broke my leg. That's a, a fourth lawsuit. Dude, no, you can't keep injuring yourself and then trying to sue us. That's not how it works. I didn't injure myself. I tried
tried to get onto your very whatever escape rafts and uh, I hurt my leg. Speaker man, you are lying. You did that on purpose. You obviously did that on purpose, dude. But anyways, up to here, if you guys want to try out the escape rafts, all you have to do, whichever one is like farthest this way or else they're going to like ram into each other. So everyone just hop on over here and let me grab a button. Okay, let me just hop on this one. And oh, I'm bouncing. Oh, five lawsuits. Oh my gosh, Speaker man, stop acting like you're getting injured. What? I'm not acting. But anyways, what we can do now is just press this button over here like that. And look, we're going to start going. Let's go. Wait, you guys got to be careful. Uh, I fell off the thing. That's six and seven lawsuits. Uh, Ruby, how did you fall off? Um, I don't know. Uh, you just hurt your employee. That's a class action right there. And oh, what? No, dude, you guys are not going to sue us because of that. What? Why would I sue Dash? Ruby, trust me, billions of dollars are on the line. Billions of dollars? And no, Ruby, don't even think about it. But anyways, if that was our ship. What do you guys think? Uh, I think my wallet's going to get a little bit fatter. I think that you'll be hearing from our lawyer. What in the world is this? You'll be hearing from our lawyer. Oh my gosh, get this out of here, dude. I'm throwing this off overboard. And that's another lawsuit. These speaker people are nuts, Dash. That was pretty crazy. And if you want to watch the next video, then click on the video on the screen right now.